Your news business will only be sustainable in the long run if your total revenue is greater than your total expenses. That doesn't necessarily need to be true right away, since fundraising may allow you to operate at a financial loss early on. What's important is that you have a clear, measurable plan in place to ensure your revenue will eventually exceed your expenses. And ideally, this will happen sooner rather than later. But how do news organizations make money? And how can you design a business model that will set you up for success? I'm Connor Crowley from the Google News Initiative. This video is part of a series to help you build a successful digital revenue model, whether you are an aspiring news entrepreneur, an emerging startup, or even a long-standing print publication trying to find success online. Other videos in the series discuss how to fundraise, assembling your tech stack, building your product, and other topics to help you strengthen your business and become financially sustainable. While news publishers don't all follow the same blueprint, in this video, we will discuss the most common approaches digital news organizations use to start earning revenue, and we'll share recommendations that Google has seen work for other digital news publishers around the world. Before identifying a revenue stream, it's important to first consider your business status. That is, will your news organization be a for-profit or non-profit organization? There are benefits and drawbacks to each approach. And while nonprofit laws and formation processes vary from country to country, here are some things to keep in mind. Generally speaking, nonprofits have certain exemptions from paying taxes. However, they typically cannot endorse political candidates or be sold or acquired. And depending on your jurisdiction, attaining a nonprofit status may be a long and complicated process, or it may not be possible at all. However, nonprofits are generally more likely to receive philanthropic funding, which can be a significant source of income for the newsrooms selected to receive it. We'll cover this topic in more depth in our fundraising video. For profit organizations, on the other hand, tend to be less complex to incorporate from a legal perspective. However, raising sufficient money to fund your reporting can be a challenge. Depending on your financial situation, you may need to consider selling part of your ownership to outside investors. We recommend researching your local laws and consulting with a tax advisor or business attorney to decide which status is right for you. Whether you are a nonprofit or a for-profit organization, there will be multiple sources of revenue for you to consider. Some of the most common include advertising, philanthropic grants, reader revenue, and client services. According to our 2021 research for Project Oasis, which is a collaborative effort that sheds light on the digital news landscape in the US and Canada, 52% of North American local digital news organizations rely on advertising as their largest source of revenue. This is followed by philanthropic funding at 29%, then reader revenue at 10%, with other sources such as client services coming in at 9%. Let's now take a closer look at each of these. As mentioned, the most common source of revenue for the news industry is advertising, with two thirds of local digital news organizations in North America citing advertising as a significant revenue source. There are three main types of advertising for you to consider. These are direct advertising, sponsorships, and programmatic. With direct advertising, you sell ad space, be it on your website, podcast, or newsletter, directly to an advertiser. Commonly, this advertiser will be a business in your local community. The benefits of direct advertising are that you can build close relationships with advertisers and grow their support over time. You also have greater control over where and how the ads appear on your product. And you have flexibility in setting the prices for each ad package that you sell. That said, it can also be very time consuming to sell ads and build relationships. So as early as you can, consider having at least one person in your organization with a full-time focus on bringing in advertising revenue. Sponsorship or sponsored content is similar to direct advertising, but allows an advertiser to more closely associate with your brand. Here, an advertiser sees your organization as a trusted messenger for an audience that they're trying to reach. They might ask you to develop and run content on their behalf, like a sponsored article, or they might be interested in sponsoring an event of yours. Great examples of sponsored content can be seen from local publisher Sioux Falls Simplified, which frequently works with businesses to create promotional articles on their behalf and thereby generate revenue. Here's an example from when they worked with a local mattress firm store to relay promotional messaging in a style and tone which will have felt familiar to Sioux Falls audience. 
The third type of advertising is programmatic, which uses technology to automate the process of buying and selling ad space. Programmatic ads can take time to set up, but once they're up and running, they provide an automated and inexpensive advertising solution. That said, publishers typically need to achieve high levels of traffic in order to earn meaningful revenue through programmatic ads. As such, the majority of emerging news publishers will be best served by focusing on direct advertising and sponsorships, at least to begin with. Finally, if you're interested in seeing how much revenue you can make through digital advertising, the GNI offers a free of charge tool that can help you do just that. The next revenue stream we'll discuss is philanthropy. As local news has been challenged in many communities, a number of foundations and individual philanthropists have stepped in to support the industry. In some countries, especially in Europe, governments have also stepped in to fund journalism through various initiatives. If you're interested in pursuing grant opportunities, here are some things to keep in mind. Most foundation grants are awarded to nonprofit newsrooms, though in the United States and some other countries, for-profit businesses can compete for these grants by using a fiscal sponsor. Foundations are typically interested in advancing specific causes, such as helping underserved communities or raising awareness of a social issue. The more your work can help a foundation to meet their own goals, the better chance you have of receiving a grant. For that reason, we recommend booking information interviews with grant makers to better understand what they're trying to achieve. Lastly, it's worthwhile to research wealthy businesses and individual philanthropists in your region in the hope that they might be willing to become a donor for your news business. Again, be sure to check out our fundraising video for tips on how to successfully pitch your news business. Another common revenue model is direct reader support. That's when news publishers turn to their audiences for financial support in the form of a subscription, membership, or donation. Direct audience revenue is less vulnerable to the variability of advertising market cycles, and it can be an important part of helping you diversify your revenue mix. In launching a reader revenue offering, the most important question you'll need to answer is, what will your audience be willing to pay for? For instance, will they be willing to subscribe to access premium content? How about donating to your news organization? Would your audience purchase tickets to attend events run by your news organization? Or would they buy something from you, such as branded merchandise or classified listings? One way to answer these questions is to interview or survey your target audience. Specifically, you want to understand what your audience could be interested in paying for and how much they might be willing to pay for it. A useful learning here would be to find out what news products they are currently paying for, if any. This will help you to set realistic goals for monetizing your news product. For more tips on this topic, check out our video on audience. The final revenue stream we'll discuss in this video is client services. You or someone on your team may be an expert at creating, publishing, and marketing content on the web, and there's a market for this expertise if you're interested in selling it. While client services are rarely the main source of revenue for a news organization, they can be an important secondary stream, especially as you build out your news organization. The services you offer can include consulting, design, audience research, or even helping your clients to create their own branded content. Offering professional training or consulting can be a great way to generate revenue. You may have developed skills as a news entrepreneur, and teaching these skills to others can help offset some of your operating costs. If your target audience includes a specific demographic that other organizations may want to understand better, selling audience insights and research can be another complementary income stream. The challenge with client services is that they can take time to provide, and so may incur additional staffing costs. But if you take care to price your services appropriately, offering client services can be an effective way to build and diversify revenue. As we mentioned, there's no one correct way to develop your revenue model. Ultimately, in the medium term, we recommend diversifying your revenue streams to help your organization become sustainable. A diverse revenue mix will mean more revenue overall, while also making your business more resilient to economic downturns. That said, prioritizing the right revenue stream to begin with should be your first goal with a plan to gradually add additional revenue streams as you are ready. If you're not sure which revenue stream to prioritize out of the gate, be sure to check out our Project Oasis Research Database for North America. This resource will help you understand which revenue streams existing digital news organizations are finding success with. That's all for now. If you're interested in learning more about how your business can become sustainable, then take a look at the other videos in this series. 
Also be sure to check out our Startups Labs if you'd like to work with a cohort of other new startups in a more in-depth coaching program. More information on that and applications can be found on our website, g.co forward slash news initiative. If you have feedback or questions, you can contact us at contactgni at google.com. Thank you and best of luck as you build your revenue model.